What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today I bring you a meaningful rat build. So with the introduction of Aardvark, which is a really, really cool pet, it will you can actually do something against summon builds now, um, rat has gotten a whole lot better. So Aardvark, what it does is when an enemy is summoned, so this will basically only happen in battle, you can't have enemies in the shop. So when an enemy is summoned, it gets plus two, plus two. And I believe it was actually just buffed to plus two, plus three. Um, so yeah, it was, actually it was plus two, plus three in this game. Um, they originally had it at plus two, plus two, but uh, recently changed it. I guess they didn't feel it was strong enough. Um, but that's probably because the summon builds are so incredibly strong. So how the combo works is you want to have a sort of big rat. And of course, when rat dies it will summon a dirty rat on the enemy team which will actually trigger aardvark so that's really cool you can actually have like a a real decent combo with this uh, i suppose you could also get like a hippo or a boar in there uh, to to double up on the the goodness of it but you don't you don't necessarily need it i, I feel like you know boar or hippo that's kind of kind of just a waste of space at that point i don't want to make them sound awful or anything but they're they're pretty bad aardvark is just better in every way and it's a tier three so you can get it early you can level it up um and it works with any summon team so if anyone has a team that summons literally anything aardvark will work with it also getting iguana in the early game is really really nice so when you do actually spawn your rats iguana just kills it immediately and aardvark still gets the buff so that's really cool too. So you, you can have have that for the early game. Uh, eventually trade off of Iguana because Iguana, it's still good. Like you can, you can bring it further into the game, but it definitely falls off much, much harder. So yeah, and we're going to get a whale in here too. Kind of odd. Whale, whale does a lot of new things because um, there's so many different types of faint pets now. So whale, you can get really creative with whale. And this is, of course, a custom pack. Um, I've done rat aardvark in a weekly pack before, but that was like one of the first weekly packs, and I don't think I was recording it. And now that they have changed the game again, they deleted all, you know, they delete all your custom packs. You have to get a new uh, name and everything. Honestly, maybe I should just straight up make an account on it. Uh, I'm not sure if that saves your packs or not. Um, but yeah, they, they deleted the pack, so I, I can't recall what the, what all of the, the pets were, and I don't really want to recreate it because now pets have changed tiers and all that stuff, so it'd be kind of odd. But you just basically go with the best pets, um, and then you, of course, you got to get Rat, Aardvark, and Iguana in there. And, um, and that's basically the setup. Also, there's a little bit of weird lag in this game. I think the next round, um... It, it happens with like when giraffe attacks and that's probably just because the test server um, it's it's the test server for a reason so um, but yeah th this guy this guy's build is pretty crazy I, I would love to try to do one with the puffin or whatever yeah see there there's the lag there puffin um, strawberry build seems really really strong I think I saw the cockpit play it too it, it looks really really cool but yeah, this, this whole board was really nice to have. So we can get our crow here, uh, finally get the chocolate to level up our rat, and of course get the deer in. And we will eventually replace the deer, probably for that eagle even. Um, yeah, whale just really pops off for us. And yeah, honestly, some of these teams are pretty weak, especially for custom packs. Uh, I know that when I was playing... You know, when you play custom packs, sometimes you, you just go against the guy with an insane build, which actually in this game, we go against someone with the, the craziest build I've ever seen. Um, maybe not ever seen, but it's a, it's a very, very intense build. But we definitely want to pick up that poodle. It is slightly better than giraffe as it buffs at least uh, two more units, three more actually, because it buffs itself. Uh, we're not going to get lioness mommy in here. 
But yeah, we need some serious stats. We are lacking in the stat department for turn 9. Uh, yeah, this guy, White Tiger, uh, with the, the turkey and the stork. This, this stork just absolutely ruins us. Like, imagine, like, it's a summoning team, too. We, we should be, we should be good against it. But no, a level 3 rooster. Oh, my God. What, what are you even supposed to do against that on turn 9? Nothing. You can't do anything. But, yeah, we're going to get a cow, get a, get a couple of milkies in here. And then get our poodles in so we can actually have some real stats going. And uh, in this game, I make a couple mistakes as most games go. You can't play every game perfectly. So my hindsight on Aardvark Rat, you know, you, you don't play Rat very often. Let's be real. How many how many of you guys are playing Rat like every other game? You're not. So so you kind of forget how how it works. I mean, I played a few games to try to get this. So I should know better, let's be real. But things happen, brain farts. My short-term memory is not the best. However, I did watch this video beforehand, so I know everything that happens. I like it to be a little bit of a surprise for myself because normally the, the videos, they sit there in my, in my video box for a little while. That's what I call it, my video box, my folders. Um, and and I totally forget what happens in the game. And then when I rewatch it, I'm like, oh, buddy, this is cool. I can't believe I did this. This is how the, the teams are supposed to go. Look at that. You almost get a 50-50 aardvark here. That's what I really want to see. And you don't need that many stats on it. But if you do go against, like, a fat team, your aardvark just won't be big enough from the couple of rat buffs. Or a couple of rat summons which gives you a couple buffs but it being a level two you get plus four plus six which is very helpful um, also getting a level two mammoth would be very nice and our level three poodle is absolutely crazy here that's a very early level three poodle i feel like and here's another summon team which is actually really scary because he's got the um the turkey parrot but our aardvark is big and thankfully he gets enough buffs just to make it through so yeah, I really like this duo. Uh, I hope that it isn't too awful. I mean, it's a it's a tier two and tier three unit, so it's fairly easy to go for, and I think it's really really cool. Ardvark is going to be a staple. I feel like in a lot of people's decks because a lot of people are going to go summons. I mean, look how many summon teams we are actually going against, and look how big these guys get. Um, Thankfully, our Aardvark, with every summon, we just get more and more stats. That's the only thing that can keep us in here. Oh, goodness. And then Orca with a Mushroom. And we barely squeak by. Just barely. Thankfully, he didn't get too many uh, lucky summons. But his team was absolutely jacked. So here's my oversight. I It's fine to place the uh, Melon on Aardvark. But I should have swapped... A poodle then so when the rats get summoned and my aardvark kills them it just basically negates my melon either that or i should have put garlic on it um or put it on poodle so there was a couple things i could have done differently but regardless we're too fat now for for everyone else but anyways thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you want to see more and you know what have a